What's up y'all, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna be giving my best and worst of the decade. It is the end of 2019, which means the decade is over. And it really kind of crept up on me in terms of the decade being over to where I saw these videos coming out and I realized, oh shit, the decade is over. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to do what other people are doing and go through what I think is sort of the best of the decade, specifically movies. And yeah, go through what are sort of my favorite movies of the decade right here. Gonna be ranging from movies from 2010 to 2019. Now it's not gonna be in any specific order in terms of from least favorite to favorite i'm just going to go through a rundown and through through the years of sort of what were my favorite movies of the decade the thing is though there are so many movies that i had to make an honorable mentions list just because there's so many movies i just could not reach that top 10 list but these are movies that stood out to me and were some of my other favorites during the decade so those honorable mentions those movies would be skyfall the first avengers movie tangled into the spider-verse guardians volume one captain america the first avenger fast and furious 6 wonder woman thor ragnarok toy story 4 star wars the force awakens captain america civil war the martian tron legacy deadpool Dawn of the planet of the apes coco Logan, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, and Avengers. Endgame. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and go through the list right now in terms of what my actual top 10 list. Starting from the year 2010, we have uh, Inception. Inception was a movie done by Christopher Nolan, a movie that really just kind of blew people away. Christopher Nolan, his previous movie, he sort of made his name with sort of the Dark Knight, or that's how he sort of got, like, got notoriety. But then with this movie, Inception, that's where he really gained his name as a filmmaker, just because this movie was just so goddamn smart, so ingenious, so intricate just sort of like mind-blowing to where you really kind of fucked with your mind like what the hell's going on with this movie but in a good way and that ending still people are talking about that shit and next year is its 10-year anniversary yeah just great film inception the next film on this list comes from 2011 a film that not a lot of people talk about these days or you don't hear about much at all and that is rango rango was an animated movie starring a johnny depp as sort of a weird sort of chameleon creature, really ugly kind of chameleon creature. And the whole thing was directed by Gore Verbinski, the guy behind Pirates of the Caribbean films. And this movie, it was just such an animated film unlike anything you ever see. It's definitely not no Disney or DreamWorks movie right here. This was just a weird, trippy-ass Western. So it was still just a whole lot of fun, whole lot of humor, some great action scenes, great characters. I love Rango and the animation, just the style, how it perfectly captures that sort of Western vibe and yeah i just love love this movie unfortunately it's not talked about that much these days but yeah people who do remember this movie this was definitely a great one uh next up on the list from 2012 we have wreck it ralph wreck it ralph is just a movie it's just one of my favorite disney movies ever i mean the whole concept character concept of the world of sort of video games coming to life great stuff told sort of a great underdog story made great use of video game characters by doing the same thing who framed roger rabbit did having these cameos by all these video game characters but at the core of it like i said it just had a great story a friendship had a great villain everything just came together to just to make one of my all-time favorite disney animated films and to speak on the sequel the sequel of uh, ralph breaks the internet was also a good follow-up too but uh yeah wreck it ralph definitely one of my favorite disney animated films ever done Next on this list comes in 2013, another Disney animated film, and that is Frozen. Frozen was a film that was just a huge phenomenon. Uh, people want to sort of hate on the movie just because they're tired of people saying it's one of the best animated films of all time. I'm not sure I'd call it one of the best animated films of all time, but the movie was such a phenomenon, and it's for good reason, just because there was just a whole lot of memorable stuff about this movie that really caught my attention when I saw it. Obviously, the music, the story, it was a story different from Disney films that we had seen before. It was just a really sort of memorable movie that I think definitely deserve its title as a phenomenon and a lot of the stuff in this movie did get stuck on my head for a while so yeah Frozen is a film that definitely belongs on this list next up we have Captain America the Winter Soldier the first MCU movie we're gonna see on this list and at the time this movie came out this movie was an absolute game changer just because it showed the MCU as just being something like whoa they can make some really 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 badass movies right here I mean the MCU had made good movies before but this was the movie that in my opinion took things to another level the story was like a great sort of throwback spy 70s movie the action was terrific it had great 
appropriate sort of themes to it in terms of what your beliefs are in terms of political values, freedom and all that stuff. And of course, the action was absolutely fantastic. It just gave you everything you would want from a Captain America movie, the cast of characters, Black Widow, the Falcon, Nick Fury, everything came together just to make a terrific MCU movie and an MCU movie that still is in my top three of MCU movies. It is just that good. Next up on this list is X-Men Days of Future Past. Oh my God, this was the movie uh, that just blew me away when I saw it. The trailers, I was just looking forward to this movie so much. I thought the trailers looked fantastic. The concept of bringing sort of the prequel era of X-Men films combined with the sequel era of X-Men films uh, with the OG cast and the films just did not disappoint. Gave you all of the sort of the mature stuff you would want from a superhero film. It was a very mature superhero film. Had amazing themes in terms of what the lights is harkening back to what X-Men 1 and 2 did in terms of mutants and mutants and humans coexisting together. It was just an all around like fantastic movie. Just had so much great stuff for, going for it. Uh, yeah, this movie was just terrific. In my opinion, this should have been the end of sort of the Fox's X-Men legacy and not that goddamn piece of shit Dark Phoenix from this year, oh boy. But yeah, X-Men Days of, Fu Days of Future Past, fantastic X-Men movie, the best X-Men movie in my opinion. Next up on this list comes Moana from 2016. Moana was just an, another great Disney animated feature, another one of the best. It's just, I think the thing that still stands out to me about this one, again, the songs, the songs are just all around fantastic. How Far I'll Go, uh, You're Welcome, Shiny, just great stuff. The movie's just an over, overall, just great adventure. Just really what you want in terms of a Disney animated film, gives you all the kind of stuff that you want. The characters, the songs, the animation is fantastic fantastic the settings look amazing the sort, sort of a polynesian islands and all that stuff moana herself was a great character great voice work by Dwayne the rock johnson he was great as maui yeah moana another great disney animated film from the decade Next up on the list, also from 2016, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Star Wars obviously uh, got, got sort of reunited during this decade with The Force Awakens after Disney bought Star Wars. But this was the first ever Star Wars film we got that was not part of the Skywalker saga. This was what you would call sort of an anthology film, a Star Wars, that's why it's called a Star Wars story. Now this was a story of the, of the, the how the plans for the Death Star got stolen uh, because that's something in the opening crawl of A New Hope. That's all like, hmm. That's sort of kind of an interesting story right here. We get it in this movie. And I just think this movie, they really made the most out of the story uh, potential that they had. And they did some really good stuff all around. One, this felt like a great actual Star Wars movie in terms of the war aspect. Really kind of captured that feel. It was more gritty than sort of the Skywalker films. I, so I really enjoyed the characters, what they did with the Jern Erso, telling sort of an emotional story with her and her father. And it really added some great subtext to Star Wars A New Hope. Showing that the, it's called a new hope for a reason just because it took hope in this movie Rogue One to sort of pull off this heist everything came together the final battle the action, absolutely fantastic. It's so much fun. Great characters with K2SO. He's my favorite droid in the Star Wars film ever. Such a great character. And yeah, like I said, that final battle, that whole ending section is what makes the movie. And you really do feel emotional watching it just because you're all like, at this time, we had obviously seen A New Hope before. And it gets kind of emotional seeing like, wow, this is how the Death Star plans got stolen. Great stuff what they did with Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Next up on the list in 2018, we had Black Panther. This is another film that was a phenomenon and a phenomenon for good reason, just because it was also obviously a very cultural, important movie. People saw the trailers, saw what this movie was going to be and be like, yeah, this is some important shit right here. And besides just the obvious fact of being the first like fully like black superhero movie, the movie was just a great movie all around. I think the thing that really made the movie for me was how they did Killmonger, the villain. Oh my God, that's just some great emotional arc they gave this character to where you're like, wow, I really understand his motivation. And that's what makes him scarier because you can feel his rage. Everything came together when it came to the characters, the story, putting this stuff together. The cultural impact was definitely there. Yeah, Black Panther, another one of my favorites from the decade. And next and finally on this list from 2018, we have Avengers Infinity War. I chose Avengers Infinity War because this was the film that was like, okay, this is what the MCU had been building to at this point. And this film definitely delivered. In my opinion, when you compare it to Endgame, I think this is actually probably the more fun or enjoyable film to watch just because this guy's got a whole lot of just 
awesome action going for it. I mean, every single, this was a much more action focused film than Avengers Endgame. And they just keep throwing stuff at you and in a good way, just because the MCU always delivers and they deliver on this film with all the team ups, all the stuff you get at the end. Thanos was just an amazing villain. You watch this film and you're like, wow, this guy just cannot be stopped. He's a wrecking ball. They just added great stuff all around. They really balanced having just so many goddamn characters in this movie and yet the film is even shorter than Avengers Age of Ultron and yet you're just like wow all the stuff they did was fantastic you could technically put, put Avengers Endgame on this list too just because the two are one of the same and I know a lot of people do, do that also I will say Avengers Endgame definitely provided sort of a, one of the best experiences of the decade with that whole movie the culmination of the MCU at that point and then you get that whole sort of final battle with everyone coming together to fight Thanos so yeah maybe I can cop out and put Endgame on this list too just because Infinity War and Endgame are you know the same part of a story but yeah Infinity War and Endgame definitely define the decade the MCU define the decade overall and that's why they deserve a place on this list so you go back and look at the movies that I've named what you'll see is that this decade was really sort of defined by Disney. Disney, at this point, they had bought Marvel in 2009. They bought Star Wars during the decade in 2012. And you really see that, man, they just took over the film industry uh, to a point where it's all like, it's just not even fair for other studios. Uh, just everything on this list is Disney. Almost all the films in my top 10 were Disney. Most of the films in my honorable mention are Disney. So it's all like, yeah, other studios, man, it's going to be tough for them. Just because if I was doing a list of this kind of list from the previous decade it'd be a lot more balanced out than it is right here so disney this was a decade defined by disney when you look at the regular disney animation when you look at pixar when you look at star wars everything marvel yeah this was sort of their decade and hopefully we get more stuff good stuff going forward in the future just because this was still a fun decade for movies actually a really good decade for movies and i would say this was the decade of the mcu this was the franchise that really sort of defined the decade right here so that'll do it for this video i hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching